Hey guys, I'm back and I've got all my stuff ready to cook some chicken in my new Instant Pot. Um, I just opened it up a little bit ago and read a little bit of the instructions. I looked at a couple of videos, but most importantly, I called my friend Kim, who is an expert at this, and she gave me a super quick and easy recipe. Um, we're going to make chicken tacos, uh, so shredded chicken, I'm guessing. We'll see how it turns out. It's very simple, very few ingredients. We've got frozen chicken. We've got a tablespoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of pepper. And I have a cup of salsa. And I had a little bit of pico left from last night, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. If you cook in the Instant Pot, you're supposed to have water in it, but since we are cooking frozen chicken and we're using the salsa, uh, we're not going to be putting any water in it and it's supposed to be ready in like 15 minutes. We're supposed to have a good meal. So let's go ahead and get started. If you watched my last video of the unboxing of the Instant Pot, I did have trouble opening and closing it, but I just figured out that it's got a very clearly marked arrow here of where you're supposed to lock it and then to open it. So you don't just like play around where it goes. There is an actual arrow right here and right here. And that's exactly where it falls right in. And then you lock it. So let's go ahead and get this opened. We did uh, rinse the pot already. Didn't want to waste your time in doing that. So the pot is nice and clean and ready for this um, chicken to be put in. So let's go ahead and put the chicken in. It's kind of stuck together because it's frozen. And there we go. I kind of separated it a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go wash my hands real quick. Okay. So we've got the chicken in here. And we're going to add the salsa. Add a little bit of pico. And I'm gonna mix these spices real good. So it's just chili, salt, and pepper, and that's it. And sprinkle them in there. Oh, and I have six chicken breasts in here. Six frozen chicken breasts. Okie dokie. So we're done with that. Now we're going to close it up. Once again, looking for my arrows here. It's in perfection. It's locked. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And it says off right now. So she gave me instructions on what to do. I'm supposed to set the back knob to sealing. So it's set to seal right now. And then I'm going to hit manual. And it's on 15, which is exactly the number of minutes that we need. And after we set it to 15, we're gonna wait for just a second. It's beeping that it's on. And now we wait. So we've got everything going. It still says on. It hasn't started the countdown. It takes a little bit of time to warm up. I should tell you um, that when you are using it, do not place it under your counters because the steam that comes out is very hot and it can mess up your counter. So find an open space like this where you can use it so that none of your kitchen stuff gets messed up. We're just gonna wait for the timer to start counting down and we should hopefully have some good chicken. So it looks like this thing is about to come up, the little button, the little red button. We're waiting for it. It still hasn't started counting down the minutes. It is frozen chicken, so it's gonna take a little longer than the usual chicken. The button is about to come out. It's wiggling. So the button is fully up. There does not seem to be any more steam coming out. So the countdown has started. We're at 15 and we are going to now wait until this is done. I will show you the quick release because that's what this recipe calls for. 
and it is starting to smell really good in here. It smells a little bit like the salsa. So hopefully this will turn out to be a really quick and easy and delicious meal. Okay, so it's almost ready. We got less than a minute left. And as soon as it goes off, it'll go to warm. And then we have to do the quick release of the pressure. That's probably the scariest part, but just gotta be very careful not to have your hands or your fingers anywhere near where the steam is gonna come out. So we're just waiting now for it to be done. Okay, so we are done. It's uh, on keep warm now. I believe we're going to cancel out of keep warm because we're here, we gotta do the quick release. We're gonna do the quick release now and hands away from where the steam is gonna come out. When that red button goes down, that's when we know that it's safe to open the pot. Looks like there's less and less steam coming out now. Now we're just gonna wait for that red button to go back down. Sounds like it's almost done. And there it went. Button's down, which means we are good to go. We can open it. Okay, so we're gonna open it now. I'm gonna turn it this way. See what we got. Oh my goodness, we've got some yummy looking chicken. Oh, it smells really good. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. We have some perfectly cooked chicken. This will be great for tacos. I have to try it, but I'm guessing it's going to be very, very hot. It looks absolutely perfectly cooked, very white on the inside. No issues there, so I'm going to take it out of here and I'm going to shred it and then we'll show you a really quick um, picture of what it looks like in the end. Okay, let's try this. It's really good. I can't believe that. We just cooked frozen chicken in 15 minutes. That's amazing. So it is finished now. Here's our um, shredded chicken. It tastes really good. We're just gonna heat up some tortillas and make us some chicken tacos for lunch.